Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, I'm on another letter for the alphabet challenge. Today we're going to do letter T, and we're going to do tags. Um, I need to grab my hole punch here. Oops, sorry. I forgot to grab my hole punch before we started. Um... Um, I think that one should be suffice. Ooh, magnets. Let's, I want to play with the magnets. Because the magnets are fun. Okay. So I'm going to put it right here so when I forget it, y'all can remind me that it's there. Alright. That's where my magnets are. Okay, so, sorry, I'm running into the camera. Okay, so we need the hole punch because we need to make this into a tag. So I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. Bloop. Click the timer. Grab my scissors here. And we're going to cut here. And then we're going to flip over and cut here. There we go. And now we can unlock here. And so I can't see this. So I normally open this up so I can see where I'm punching. Right, so we're going to punch right on top of the U. <laughs> Actually, that's not centered. That is kind of centered. Bloop. All right. All right. I always click the wrong button. Lock that back. All right. And now you have a little trifle tag. Now, the thing is, is you can put in a little loop de loop, but if you do, you're essentially closing this. So, what you could do is you could cut these, like, you know what I mean? So you only have one. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. All right, so basically we're going to... Fold this down and we're going to cut straight across that line right there. And then we're going to leave the middle one. We're going to fold this one down and we're going to cut that one. Okay. And you don't have to fold it down, it's just an easy way to mark that line. And then take this one, and we're going to do the same thing. Boop. Voila. Now, when you close it, you can put this little taggy thing up here, and you can open it up, like so. Um, and it'll be fun because we're going to magnetize it. So we'll go ahead and do that right now so we don't forget. So we're going to put one here. Um, blue. Right there. So I use a double-sided tape as well as many other things to do my magnets. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put a single thing of double-sided tape. And I'm going to lose my magnet before I even start. Oh, there it is. Okay. Fold it over. And drop it. Bloop. And that's where you need to put your other double-sided tape. Okay. So pick it up. And drop it. And there you go. And your magnet is effectively done because you're going to decorate across this. So... 
I'm going to pick this back up and just to double check and make sure that it doesn't go anywhere, we're going to, you can use washi tape, you can use scotch tape, you can use whatever tape you'd like because it's going to get covered up anyway. Okay, so apparently I don't have any washi tape handy, so I'm going to just use a small, very small piece of scotch tape. And a, another very tiny piece of scotch tape. It's literally just to hold it in place so it doesn't move while you're decorating it. So, let's open this up. Now, this is, let's see, green primarily. Oh, that's the wrong way. Let's see, what do we want to do with this? So we want to keep the inside fairly flat. Um, because the magnets, I mean, they're strong, but they're not like, they're not Hercules strong. I think I want to cover this just a little bit. So I'm going to take a smidge of paper here and I'm going to put that there. I'm going to leave that up there just like that. All right. Grab something handy. I'm gonna grab the fabric top because it doesn't typically warp the paper, and this bag is pretty thin paper. Uh, I don't remember what I used. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I made uh, some gifts for a friend a couple weeks ago. Or was it last week? Maybe it was a week before. I don't remember. Um, and I had used that uh, bag. Because I have copy dyed paper, but none of it looks like that. So I bit the bullet and I tore apart one of the bags. I was like, oh, that's so sad. But it's okay. I really like that. So I'm going to keep going. Put a little piece. Let's see. Put a little piece down there. And it's really thin, so you don't have to worry about it like bulking up your your tag here. Just kind of move the fiber tack around a little bit. Let it smear up underneath there. Bloop. That's cool. Alright, and grab another piece. And we'll put you on, let's see, put you right there. Are you going to fly away? Alright, so I'm going to do it like that. I don't know if y'all can see all this paper just flying around my desk. It's quite humorous. I should turn my fan off before I start uh, start the record button, but I always forget. Alright, and now this is going to go over top of that little tiny piece of tape as well as the magnet. And this is yet more background noise, so it's going to get covered up too. There we go. You could also put the magnet on this side if you wanted, instead of this side, you could put it on this side. All right, so I really like that. I don't want to put more on it, but Okay, we're gonna leave it be. Leave it alone. Alright, um, let's do a little snippet of lace here. I think I'm gonna put it on this side like this. Alright, little dot of glue there. I haven't burned myself in the last few days. Got to bring the lace back out. Okay, I like that. 
might put some on the top to match. Or I could just use this little itty bitty lace to uh, do the, the tie thing. Okay, I really like this. This is really cool. Okay. Um, See, we can even put like a little pocket right there. Ooh, I like that. I don't want it this side though. I like that side better. I think. You know what I think I'm going to do? So I'm going to add a little tiny bit of lace on this side. Because that's why I like the other side better. It's because it's got that border, that lace border. But I can just create one here. I do a little bit at a time. My fan's drying off this glue. side down. And then we've got another little pocket right there. And we have ourselves a little trifold tab. Tag. Trifold tag. I think I want to put some of this right here. On this side. To match the cover part. It's just flicker. Did y'all see that? I don't know if y'all saw that. Okay. All right. I'm trim that little piece right there. And then trim that right there. Oh, look at that. See? That's cool. Okay. So now we're going to take that same tiny lease. And I think I want to put something right there. Right there. Um, I feel like that is not enough. Uh, we've got some blingy bling in here. Let's do this one. Is that too much? No, 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 no. I think it's too long too. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe if I put this one with this with the um 
seam binding. I spent half my time on this one tag. Oh my gosh. You know, I've been doing tags this whole time and when it's finally time to actually do tags, I'm probably going to run out of time. Which is funny to me. It's very ironic. Isn't it ironic? It's probably not do that because I'll probably get dinged. Some random person being like, I have rights to the Alanis Morissette song. Yeah, no, I don't think so, dude. But yeah, I've been dinged before for using royalty-free music, actually. Because way, way, way early in my videos, I used to do, um, like, just speed-throughs. And, uh, I would have music in the background and I would use a program called Filmora and uh, it has royalty free music built into the program. It's like a membership, uh, not a membership, but you have to pay for the program. Anyway, I actually had someone, a mark, like say that they owned the copyrights to that. I'm like, yeah, you're, you're, I don't know what you are, but you're wrong. But anyway, so there's the pocket. Okay. And then I really like this. I really, really, really like this. And there's still so much room to write. That is so cool. All right. So there's that one. We have got to go much faster. Okay. So this one, I'm, I think I'm going to put this on the back. No, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. So let's do, um, Let's do this one. I like this one. We're just going to go straight down this, the center. <clears throat> um, actually. Oh, look at that. That's pretty perfect. I'm going to put this on the side first. And then we're going to go straight down the center. We Okay. I'm just gonna leave that there. Okay. Now see, that's just I need one more though. I need another one. Um oh let's do pink and purple. Don't mind me, I just have laces over here all over the place. I like that. And then the purple right on top of that because you're not going to see that at all. Okay. So we're going to go across the top. Whoop. And go over just a little bit because I don't know if that edge is straight. And then I'm only going to go across the bottom here because I'm fixing to glue the other lace on top. And so we don't want it to be too, too bulky with glue because hot glue actually gives a little bit of depth as far as uh, your height of your item. So you have to be careful, especially if you're making stuff to go inside journals, because some people like nice, big, fat, chunky journals and some people they don't. So it's easier to make things for thin journals because you can always add more to make it chunky. But it's really hard to take it away. See, that is so much better. I don't even know if y'all can see that. The layer. That's just, oh, I love it. Ooh, maybe I should do it this way. Ooh, it's from my... Ooh, I like I like that better. All right, so we're going to use fabric tack on this one. Because fabric tack will flatten out a smidge. Um, no, we had it this way. Yeah. 
Alright, I need not my hands, but that is very fun getting fabric on your hands. And this is going to get covered up, sort of. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, wax paper is probably best with this, as I am learning. Or oh, plastic. I have plastic over here. I could have used that. No, I chose the baby wipes. Does that make sense? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Now we're going to go over here. Cut that one. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? And that's just layering some laces. Okay. And let's see. Oh, this one's really pretty. I like how dark it is. In contrast, right? That's really cool. Let's see what else I got over here. Um. Oh, what about that one? I think I might need to go pink with this because I don't think this is purple enough. Um, let's see. We'll go. Oh, that one might work. This one's kind of a chunky monkey, too. It gets fatter. It's not the skinny ones. Oh, yeah. That is way better. And we're just going to put you right in the middle, and we're going to find something to put right there. I think we're going to glue the tails down. Oh, that is so cool. All right, I'm going to make you a little pocket. Because that's fun. I hear my daughter in there playing. She's so funny. She's just in there going, <laughs> she's probably flying something or something like that. She has a very active imagination, and I love it. Nope. Over there. Crap. There we go. Okay. So, let's find something out of our bling box. Oh, and now my dog's barking. Alright. Let's find something out of our bling box. And, um, this one should be done. Let's see. Do we want flowers or something little? I think something little would be better. We could do we could do a flat back. I don't really want to do a flat back though. We could do one of the ooh, that's nice. I like that. Let's hold that. Hold that thought. Or do one of those. No, I think that might be too small. Or let's see what do we have up here. Um, no, that's way too big. Way too big. Not you. I like this little guy here, I think, the best. But yeah. Mm. 
Nope. I think I like him best. All right. Um, that actually works out because this particular one is plastic. So I can glue it. And then, oh, you know what? I have super teeny tiny tags. Oh my gosh, how cute would that be? To put a tag inside of a tag. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. Okay. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little light of mine. Okay, there we go. And we are going to do like a super tiny tassel thing here because we can't do one here because we covered it up. I mean, you could, I could punch through that with the crocodile, but I kind of like it. I love it. Okay. So this one, I think I love this combination of uh, lace here. So I'm going to go straight across the top here. I really want to keep as much of that as possible. We're going to let that kind of flow. I still haven't put this on my shop yet. Um, maybe by the time this airs, it might be up there. I doubt it because I love this lace. I actually had to buy more of this because this one's on my shop, but I had to buy more of it because I wanted to use it and I didn't want to take away from the shop inventory. So, I had a bit more. Just for me. Alright, and then this one here. Here. And. How big are you? You are big, but I want to try to keep as much of that as possible. That is too big. That is too big. Um, nope. Nope. color. I think that's too big. That's way too big. I don't know though. Maybe. I kind of like that. I think I like this one better. Yep. I like that one better. Only because it's smaller and you can still see a lot of this going on up here. So let me get this down and then I can trim it. All right. Ow. That's warm. Ah. Okay. Now I have that song stuck in my head. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Bloop. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> I actually really like that. 
I'll set that there. And I'm gonna run out of time. I actually really like that. Okay, I'm gonna add um, a thingy to this. That's why I was like, I'm gonna run out of time because I only have 30 seconds left. All right, um, let me grab lace here. And I don't know that that's gonna be long enough. It might be. All right, I'm gonna stop this so it doesn't yell at me. I'm gonna stop it with three seconds left. That may not be enough. No, I don't think that's enough. Ah, especially for this giant tag. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, yeah. That'll be fine. Boop. Boop. That's really cool. I feel like I need something right there. Right there. Oh, do I need something? I think I do. I think I do. And I think I might have just the thing. That's cool. Uh, as soon as I find the end of it, it'd be cool. Alright, so I'm going to cut this. This is plastic as well. Uh, the top, the top one is metal. The second one here is like a combination of flowers and plastic and metal. This one's just flowers. And this one is also a combination of plastic and metal. So there it's, I, I want it to be sorted, but it's, it's so not. All right. So we're going to take this here off and I'm going to put this, that I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, super tiny, tiny dots of glue. Ow! But enough that I can burn myself. And I'm going to put something right here on top of this too. And I'll show you what it looks like. What I'm going to do. Actually. Mm, nope, I don't want that. Um, I'm gonna go with metal, possibly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, grab the E6000. Hope it's not all dried up. Do it this way. Mm. You know, you want to come out. Yeah. Mm. Anybody fight with their E6000 like I do? Kind of crazy. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of glue on one of the, on a couple of the petals. And the E6000 is in the middle. But the glue on the petals will hold it in place until the E6000 cures. 
and I learned that from a friend. I like that. Can you see it? And then, do we want another one right there? No. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, put that back. I think we might just leave that one blank. I don't know though, because it looks naked. I don't like it. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. That's too big. It's too big. Do another metal piece. I think it's too big though. Um, let's go back to the I think this one. Yeah. And then we will be done. Yeah, that's way better. Whoop. Alright, now what am I doing for you guys? Unicorns? Umbrellas? Unique? I've been thinking about you for a while and I'm like, I don't know! What am I gonna do? Upside down? Oh, that would be interesting. I want like craft everything upside down? Eek. I'm not sure I can do that. I mean, I'm sure I can. <laughs> I'm not sure that I'm going to like anything that comes out of it, but, you know. Who knows? Who knows? I'm beating you guys up. Oops. Alright. Go close. <laughs> I guess it helps if it's aligned. And then it will close. Alright. Uh, you go over there. Where'd our tags go? There they are. So, we've got hot glue strings everywhere. And this goes back in the jar. We didn't use that. And that can go over under there. At least it can go. Er. There we go. Alright, I think I've cleaned up a little bit. Okay, so we've got this tag here, this tag here, which remember is actually a trifold tag with a magnet. Because I love magnets. And then we've got this one here with the little teeny tiny mini tag. Which is so cute. Uh, this one's a pocket too. Um, I just didn't put anything in it. Uh, this one's actually a pocket as well. I just didn't put anything in it either. I mean, put your ink in there. <laughs> That'd be funny. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Uh, this challenge is definitely fun and challenging. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.